Do you think when Cat Williams was talking about mediocre comedians, he was talking about Joe Rogan? Does Joe Rogan, in fact, steal jokes? That and more on this episode of... That's right, friends. Back by <laughs> popular demand. My job now is to make Noob Noob's argument make some kind of sense because he rambled on about how Joe Rogan was probably stealing jokes, but he had no idea what he was talking about. And there's been a lot of news popping off about it. And uh, we're just talking about Joe Rogan's latest special, which happened maybe about a month ago, which was Burn the Boats. But Carlos Mencia weighed in after a bunch of channels have been saying that Perhaps Rogan swiped a couple of jokes. In fact, he may have swiped a joke from one of his own specials. I mean, he did. Uh, which is very strange. It, does that mean that he's just lazy? Like, what's going on here? But we'll discuss it. I, I'll give you my own view on it. And uh, we'll take a look at a couple things first. And just remember all of the damage that happened to poor, poor... Carlos Mencia through all this. Can we just feel for Carlos Mencia, please? So anyway, let, let's take a look at some stuff. Some stuff and things. Uh, this is going to be... There's a lot of people involved in this, but this is from Retroactive's channel. You can take a look at this. So he's just... He's letting you hear Rogan's part and then Brendan, Sh Brendan Schaub's part from Gringo Poppy. You for joke theft. I'm the opposite. I wish I was gay. It looks way easier. My life would be so much easier if I was just gay as shit. At night, we'd each other. <laughs> yes, hilarious, Brendan Schaub. Hilarious, Mr. Joe Rogan. That is probably the least uh, original joke I think I've heard in a very, very long time. So <laughs> the funny part is, do you remember what happened to Carlos Mencia? I just wanted to remind you what happened to him. Let's just take a look at uh, what you did to Carlos Mencia via South Park. It's just a reminder. Look at me, man. I'm not funny. I steal jokes. My dick don't work, man. I got to piss in a plastic bag, man. I got no dick. I ain't going to hurt you. I pay people to do that for me. Oh, shit, oh, no. It's pretty funny because it's Kanye. <laughs> but I wonder if that was actually uh, Diddy in the long run. But either way, Kanye was also an angry fella. But here's Carlos Mencia in his own words discussing what happened. And then I'll wrap it all up with a bow just to give you guys an idea. Because people wanted actual context for what was going on, what jokes had actually been stolen. The Rogan joke that he stole from himself from one of his early, early comedy specials uh, was about um, pleasuring himself while his wife was asleep, which is verbatim a joke he already used, which is really strange because the man had six years to get his, his, uh, his comedy special together and ready, yet he felt the need to recycle an old joke. Not so sure. Me think something is a little fishy there. And I really think that this tarnished Rogan's career as far as him being a comedian. Most people don't think of him as a comedian, but if you recall, he considers himself a comedian. And most of the time, instead of being funny on his podcast, when he has other comedians on, he just talks about comedy and the art and craft of comedy as he lazily strings together jokes like they were pieces of uh, junk, like popsicle sticks and gluing, you know, gluing little pieces of paper on popsicle sticks. That's his art and craft. But let's take a look at Carlos Mencia, what he had to say, because he thinks it's rather funny. Here to air my grievances about all these comedians that have done wrong on me. I'm not, you know, had you not brought up all that ceiling stuff, I probably wouldn't have brought up Rogan. I thought you already knew. But yeah, I did. The fact that the fact that he gets accused of, of stealing is just ironic on a level that is incredible. But that's not what bothers me. Like I said, what bothers me is that everybody all of a sudden is is taking what we do and turning it into something so simple that we could just 
were like Legos. Like, oh no, I don't got a red one. You got a white one? Yeah, it's same shit. Like that's that's right. not how this that's not how the art works. And so he goes on <clears throat> to describe how he believes that his accu- the accusations that Joe Rogan levied against him all those years ago, which caused South Park to do that spoof of him, where he was being accused of stealing jokes, is that you know the setup to the joke is just as important as the close to the joke, and you have to fit them together. And there's so many people doing it that there's so many concurrent thoughts going on right now that she's not necessarily lifting jokes. I've even seen some of the jokes that were supposedly lifted by, um, you know, Amy Schumer and other people. And yeah, I, I don't think you could be responsible for li- listening to everybody's comedy special so that you know exactly what everybody else is saying. I mean, in Brendan Schaub's case and Rogan's case, I think that was really just concurrent thoughts. It, the, the sad part is that Rogan ripped Brendan Schaub for doing Gringo Popping was like, maybe you shouldn't go back into comedy after this. In fact, he told, uh, from my understanding, he told he won't even let him perform at the Mothership, Joe Rogan's comedy club that he owns in Austin, Texas. It's called the Comedy Mothership. And he won't even let Brendan Schaub perform there. Yet all of his friends can perform there because Brendan's just not good enough. He's not a high enough caliber of comedians, which I, I which I think is very funny. So <laughs> the fact that Brendan Schaub even did it better is, uh, and it's such a typical joke for Rogan because that's kind of his his realm of joke. You know, low bar, uh, ho- you know, gay humor is not not that far of a stretch for Rogan to pick that up. So again, I think it's just concurrent thoughts. I don't think he's really stealing jokes. I just think he's lazy. I think he's created his own little echo chamber. Anybody who's going to Austin to the comedy mothership is clearly going there to see the celebrity Joe Rogan, maybe not there for the comedy. When you go on tour and you do comedy, you're against hostile. You never know who you're going to get in front of. And a lot of times it's going to be a hostile audience. And you don't know if your material's going to be good or if it's going to hold up and you have to keep tweaking it. Clearly, Rogan did not tour on this new material and uh, just decided to sweat from his nipples as part of the joke. (laughs) It's very strange. So I don't think he's really stealing jokes. But again, what do you think? Let me know down below. I just find it funny that Brendan Schaub and Rogan are operating on the same level after Rogan dressed them down is pretty funny. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I will read all of them and comment back below. I hope I gave you enough evidence. Look what you did to Carlos Mencia. That's all I want to remind you of. How dare you treat Carlos Mencia like this? Just because he he took credit for a joke. Oh man, come on! I got no dick, man. Oh, oh, oh my God. gosh, that's a lot of violence there. <laughs> I will leave you with that. But uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for catching us. I do appreciate it. We do love all y'all. Uh, if you liked what you heard here, please subscribe. We could definitely use it. Uh, but I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.